Lewis out there along with McNeil, the fullback. Tight formation. And they're going to go quarterback sneak. Dowson off the right side, and he wedges his way in there. He's in. Late signal, but here it is. Touchdown for the Thunderwolves. They're on the board. Dowson will come up under center. Let's see if he just sneaks this ball in here. He keeps it, angles to the left, and he just dives into the end zone. Good second effort, and Ross Dowson has the touchdown, his second of the night for the Thunderwolves. Be kicking with the win, though. See what happens here. Dowson is the holder, right down the middle of the field. Kick is on the way. It's a low kick. It's got plenty of distance, and it's good. 52-yard field goal for Kyle Major, and the Thunderwolves have tied the game up at 17. Major's going to attempt a 30 Eight-yard field goal. Yeah, ball in the left hash mark. So fourth down and four. Thunderwolves will try the field goal. Kyle Major hit from 52 already in this ball game. Now this is into the teeth of the wind. It's a good snap. Kick is on the way. Plenty of leg, and it is good right down the middle. So Major now from the left hash mark, 40-yard attempt, trying to get the Thunderwolves within one. Good snap. Kick is on the way. Kind of a low kick. But it sneaks through there. Not the best, but no style points on a field goal. As long as it goes through the uprights, kick is good from 40 yards out. Thunderwolves draw in one. Kyle Major. Good snap. Kick is on the way. Plenty of leg, and it is good. Right down the middle. Five minutes to play in the ball game, and the Thunderwolves have taken the lead. It's CSU Pueblo 26, West Texas A&M 24. Son. So it's going to be a field goal attempt here, 30 two-yarder just inside the left hash mark for Kyle Major. Good snap. Kick is on the way. Got plenty of leg, and it is good. So the Thunderwolves take advantage of the early turnover, 10-15. Now on third down and 11. Tough yardage to make here. They need the five-yard line for the first and goal. Dowson under center, straight drop back, seven-step drop, goes down the middle. He's got a man wide open, and it's a touchdown! Kobe Wittick! Well... Who are you going to call? Former Bluebeard, Kobe Wittick. Sperber going to line up in the slot to the right, Cartwright wide to the right. Wittick is in the slot to the left. Fanishman is in the ball game also at the left side end. Wittick going in motion to the right side. They give it off to Lewis up the middle. Breaks one tackle. and There he goes. And he broke free. 50, Goodbye. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. You know what that reminded me of, Joe, was that play the other night by Pumble West. They tackled the wrong guy. 56 yards. 17 nothing as we start the second quarter. Thunderwolves on top. First and goal from the Northwest Oklahoma one-yard line. The give is to Jesse Lewis. He's into the end zone for a touchdown. And the Thunderwolves lead it 23 to nothing. 51-yard attempt here for Kyle Major. Good snap. Booms it. Drives it. And it is good. Sounded like it was tipped. 51 yards. yards. Hope you'll join us for that one. Against Adam State. Here's the pitch right side. Cutting in is Jesse Lewis. Touchdown. No sign of cramping this week, Joe. Jesse Lewis has got fresh legs, and he is doing quite the job here so far tonight. Second and goal. Dowson, a little three-step drop, fade pattern into the corner, and it is caught! Touchdown by Browning! Paul Browning made a great grab in the corner, just a little fade route to the pylon in the corner. Dowson in the shotgun. He's got Johnson with him in the backfield, double wide out to the right this time. Dowson takes the snap, three-step drop. He's going to go to the fade pattern to the corner, and it is caught! Touchdown! Touchdown to Browning! Great grab by Paul Browning. He had coverage there, but Dowson was right on the money. Joe, you couldn't have thrown it any better than that. That's two weeks in a row where they've run that fade pattern to Paul Browning, and it's resulted in a touchdown. They leave uh, Johnson in the game. McNeil is in there at fullback. Dowson's going to be in the shotgun here on first and goal. And a little jump pass over the middle. Caught touchdown to Fannin Schmidt. That was the old Tim Tebow play there, Joe. You fake it to the fullback, and it's just a jump pass. And Dowson, well, he wears number 15. Just jump pass with the right hand to Fannie Schmidt for the touchdown. Beautiful. Plus he's 6'5". He yeah. Gets, when you jump that high. Ball just inside the left hash mark. Good snap. Kick is up. 
and it is good. 4.22 to play. Boy, time melting away here in this third quarter. Thunder Wolves extend their lead. They lead at 17-3 to over the Adams State Grizzlies. Major sets up. Right hash mark, 44-yard attempt. Good snap. Falls down. Kick is on the way. He's got plenty of leg. And it is good. Huge field goal by Kyle Major with 7.22 to play in the ball game. Extends the lead to nine. It's CSU Pueblo 20, Adam State 11. Five instead of eight. So it'll be Kyle Major in to try the field goal. Ball be spotted at the 19 just inside the right hash mark. So a 29-yard field goal attempt here for Kyle Major. Good snap as always. Kick is on the way. And it is good. Dowson. And the shotgun has Lewis with him. Browning split to the right, and they give it to Lewis up the middle, and he is jammed. Oh, stays on his feet, trying to break a tackle. Breaks another one. Inside the five to the goal line. Touchdown. Oh, my. Jesse Lewis breaking tackles left and right, and he skirts on into the end zone. That was beautiful. What power. That's why he is. Welcome back to the Nita and Eddie DeRose Thunderbolt. Thunderbolts lead it 10 to nothing as we move to the second quarter of play. Punt formation. And they, and they got it. it! And it's loose at the goal line, and the Thunderwolves are on top of a touchdown! And getting up off the bottom of the stack, Anthony Marshall. John Rista talked about Anthony Marshall. He said he's the guy that he's he's just a special teams guy and he's going to be a good one. So major to try the field goal. It'll be a 41-yard attempt. Ball on the left hash mark. Dowson the holder. Good snap. Kick is on the way. Might have hooked this one, but he snuck it through there. Snuck it in through that left upright. Didn't have a lot of air under that kick, but it's good nonetheless. 9.31 to go. Now the Thunderbolts coming up in press coverage here, especially with Roberts on the bottom here, looking at it right in front of the Thunderbolts bench. They fake the draw play, trying to set up the screen. Out to the right, it's intercepted. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Stephen Dickens. Well, Joe, I mentioned it. They were coming up. They were in the press coverage that time, and they came with some pressure, and Jenkins got rid of it in a hurry, and he overshot the wide out to the left side, and Dickens took it to the house. It's only so, a... Yeah, this is a minor field goal here, huh? 37-yard attempt. Ball will be spotted at the 27, left hash mark. Kick is on the way. That one looked beautiful. Right down the middle. 10.46 to go in the... Third quarter, Thunderwolves strike first here in the second half. They extend their lead to 30 to nothing. Thunderwolves ruled it incomplete. So another field goal attempt here for Kyle Major. So this one will be spotted just outside the 28-yard line. We'll call it a 38-yard attempt. Ball on the left hash mark. Kick is on the way. And it is good. 330. Yeah. Kind of puts the boring back in the field goal, doesn't he? Well, you got the wind with you, too. Here's the kick. Low kick. Sandoval's going to take it. Makes the first two miss. Cross the 25. Puts his head down. 30. Breaks the tackle. 35. 40. 45. Needs a block. Cuts into the middle. 40. 35. 30. 25. Gets another block. 15. 10. 5. Touchdown! Josh Sandoval! Unbelievable return there, Joe. Okay, so you fumble twice and score for me. Wait, first and goal at the five-yard line. Up the middle, and look at the freshman to the goal line. Touchdown! J.B. Matthews launching himself to the goal line. Dowson brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Ball on the left hash mark here. No score early on in the ball game. Handling in motion to the left. Run it up the middle to the freshman. To the goal line, touchdown! Easy money for the Thunderwolves. As J.B. Matthews took it right up the middle, he went untouched, and they celebrate in the end zone. Ball in the left hash mark. Dowson comes up under center. That's a straight eye formation here. Now they pitch it to the right side. Lewis tries to cut it outside. He's to the corner. Touchdown, Thunderwolves. No flags. Touchdown. Good block by Marquise McNeil. He sealed the edge that time and allowed Lewis to bounce it outside, and you're never going to win the foot race with Jesse to the pylon. They're going to go double wide out to the right side. Sandoval is in the slot to the right. Dowson is in the shotgun. Might see a quarterback draw here. A little three-step drop. Here comes pressure. Dowson steps up, goes over the middle. Nice move by Sandoval. Touchdown! 
brilliant move by Josh Sandoval sitting down in the zone there, Joe. He caught it, and then he knew there was going to be a hit, and he kind of made a little quick spin. You know what that was? That was a street ball move. Exactly. Just kind of duck and turn. It's going to be a big one. 50-yard range. Maybe 51. Yeah, the ball is spotted at the 33, so if you go the standard eight yards back, it'd be the 40. But most teams go a little bit further than uh, seven yards back. So they're going to go back. It's, well, we're going to call it a 50-yarder. The ball is spotted just outside the 40-yard line. Ball just inside the right hash mark. Good snap. Major's kick is away. It's on the way, and it is good again. <laughs> man, oh, man. 11.55 to play in the third quarter. Thunder will strike first in the second half. They extend the lead to 24-14. to Third and goal from a yard out. They give it to the freshman around the corner, and he just trots into the end zone. Touchdown, Thunderwolves. There wasn't a lot of sense of urgency on that touchdown. No, he just kind of just strolled on in. But that was the play that Jesse scored on earlier in this ball game. But this time, the freshman, J.B. Matthews, just takes it on into the end zone with style. Really puts Shadron under the gun. First and goal from the seven-yard line. Shotgun formation. They'll run it out of this formation, though. But Dowson's going to throw. Three-step drop over the middle. Back of the end zone. Touchdown! And we call it the four-yard line. The back nose of the football is touching the four, so we'll go with that. Second and goal from the four. I formation this time. The freshman into the ball game. J.B. Matthews. They send McNeil in motion right, pitch it right side. Here's Matthews, puts his head down to the goal line. He's right there, and he's in. Touchdown! Little second effort there for the freshman, J.B. Matthews. And he's on the board again. He's becoming the touchdown maker, Joe. He's got fresh legs and a fresh body. He hasn't had the hell beat out of him for four years. What a drive that was. Ball on the left hash mark. And Dowson, a little three-step drop, pump fake, now pulls it down, looks downfield, sends it down to sideline to Matthews, he's got it in the clear. 50, 45, 40, one man to beat, to the 25, 20, gets a block! Touchdown, Thunderwolves! J.B. Matthews! And what a great play by Ross Dowson as he put that ball right on the money. He was in trouble, rolling to his left, and he just kind of put a little air under that thing, and Matthews caught it in stride. Ball's down. Kick is up. He drives it. That one's good. And he goes right down the middle of this one. Four seconds to play here in the first half. Thunderbolts extend the lead to 16 to nothing. Thunderbolts football. Dowson up under center. And we're going to run a sprint draw. Here is Matthews to the right side. Breaks the tackle. 35-30. Down the sideline. To the 20. To the 10. To the 5. To the pylon. Touchdown, Thunderwolves. That's making the most of a turnover right there. J.B. Matthews. At the Loper 31-yard line. No score. 12 minutes to play here in the first quarter. Matthews in the ball game now. And they fake it to him. Dowsing in a roll right. He's got all kinds of field ahead of him. Looks now. Fires it toward the end zone for Sandoval. He has got it, I believe. Touchdown, Thunderwolves. Or is it Spur- That's That's uh- Sperber, I believe. Sperber, I beg your pardon. Sperber on the grab in the end zone. He got Touchdown one. Thunderwolves. <laughs> yeah, finally. And I blew the call. So fourth and goal from the five. It'll be a 22-yard field goal attempt from the right hash mark. Kyle Major, set, good snap, kick on the way, and it is good. 5.09 to play here in the first half. Thunderwolves retake the lead. 10 to 7, CSU Pueblo on top. Thunderwolves football. Second and goal from the two yard line. Wildcat formation. Matthews takes the snap. Going to run it to the right side. Cuts it into the goal line. Touchdown! Boy, when he made up his mind, Joe, he stuck that right foot in the ground and got it going north and south, and he scores and puts the Thunderwolves on top, 16-14. to 14. Actually, you'd probably get credit for a 30-41 yarder because... Yeah, it's inside the 32, isn't it? Good snap. Kick is up. Right and now. it's good. He snuck it in that upright. That is a tough, tough kick. 5.19 to play here in the fourth. She'll blitz off the edge. Now they're going to back out of it. Spitzelberger looks, 
Fires it down the middle of the field. Dickens has an interception again. Inside the 40, 35, 30. Angles to the left sideline. To the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Thunderwolves. Holy cow. Stephen Dickens. And the celebration is on across the way. What a play. And they're going to uh, put Dowson out wide to the left. This will be the Wild Pack formation. Lewis around the right side, takes the direct snap, touchdown! So Jesse Lewis that time, he turned it up in a hurry, Joe, and it worked. And Danny Bustamante telling me the stream is back up, so if you're listening along the way on the Internet, we apologize, but we got you back up and running here. Second down and six. Here is Dowson in the shotgun, looks over the middle, back of the end zone, caught! Touchdown, Fannin Schmidt! What a grab and traffic, and the big man, when he gets his mitts on it, Joe, it's all she wrote. Because he just squeezes the air out of that football. Well, this is the Wildcat formation featuring Jamal Johnson, and this is, could be a pass play right he here. He throws the football out of this. So we'll see what happens here on second down and goal. Dowson split wide to the left. Williamson to the right. Jamal takes the snap. Runs right now. Stops. Pop pass. Over the middle. Touchdown. Fannin Schmidt. Well, that's just a product of Joe going to practice a lot and seeing him work on that play. And he schooled me on it. Said, hey, when Jamal's in the game, they're going to pass it. Ball on the left hash mark. And the kick is up. Kind of that helicopter spinner, and it's good this time. 22 seconds to play in the third quarter. Thunderwolves on the board again. They extend the lead to 17. It's CSU Pueblo 24. Colorado Mesa 7, Thunderwolves football. It'll be a 26-yarder. Ball in the right hash mark, and he bangs it through there. 4.25 to play in the fourth quarter. Thunderwolves extend the lead to 27-7. to Thunderwolves football. Sandoval motion to the right side. Here comes that blitz for He's going to run around the left side. Flags are down. And Matthews is into the secondary. And he's going to score a touchdown for the front of those flags all over the place, though. Now, my question is, you got the back judge throwing one and the line judge throwing one. I think they were lined up off Sunday. They might have had too many men on the field, too. Third quarter is melting away. Here. We're down to 5.20 to go. Thunder will still lead it. 7 to nothing. There is no score, Rich. <laughs> Pay attention and stay with us. We don't have to give it so often. Here's the handoff up the middle of Matthews. And a hole. Even close to 10. Five. Touchdown. Thunderwolves. <laughs> J.B. Matthews, his second long touchdown run of the game. This time from 20 yards. Broke the tackle at the line of scrimmage. And when he gets a good head of steam, Joe, he is a thing of beauty. That was just a... Dowson up under center here on third and goal. Thunderwolves might just run it here, and they do pitch it to Matthews. He cuts it inside. He's to the goal line. Touchdown! The hat trick for J.B. Matthews. Which, oh, I thought maybe you just run the ball here and kick the field goal, but when you got a kid like J.B. Matthews, third and seven is not such a bad play to run it. Aguera in the punt it away for the Cowboys. Here they come, and they set up the return. It's a short kick. Sandoval gets up underneath it at the 16. He's back across the 20. Back up a cradle. 25, 30. 35, 40. He's got the punt on the beat. To the 50. 45, 40. And he's down the sideline. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Josh Sandoval. An incredible punt return. I cannot believe it, Joe. I just saw that was an incredible punt return. Breaking tackle, staying on his feet. Looks like the punter might run him out of bounds, but somehow he stayed in bounds to finish it off. And uh, we'll have scores. We'll have highlights. It's all coming away in the Taco Bell postgame show. 28 to nothing. CSU Pueblo on top. They send Hamlin in motion to the right side of the formation, showing blitz. Make the draw. Dowson now. He's trying to get the screen. Goes down the side. That man's wide open at the 20, 15, 10, 5. It's Joe Johnson for the touchdown. Oh, that's a great moment for J.J. This three years, he's had some problems injury-wise. Had a lot of his playing time taken away by the freshman. But for a senior, four-year player for this ball club, that was a great moment. 
number, this will be punt number 15 on the night for New Mexico Highlands. Low snap goes right through his leg. And he chases it down. Now he just boots it out the back of the end zone. Will he get in? It's still alive. And it goes out of bounds. Oh, it was a wide ball for a minute. Thunderbolt's could have covered it up for a touchdown, but it goes out of bounds, so it'll be a safety. <laughs> That'll be called illegal kicking. But uh, it was kind of comical. Yes. You know, as we've talked about that with Brownie, he stretches his hands out, catches his hands. He probably hauls that in, but he got into his pads. Here's Major's field goal attempt. It's up, and it's good. Thunder Wolves are on the board. 14.52 to play in the first half. Game is tied at 3-3. to This is Thunder Wolves football. Let's see what they come up with here. Power to the left. Whittick in the slot left. Dowson in the pocket. Sets. Goes to the end zone. Back shoulder. Throw. Touchdown! Browning! Fought off. You could almost tell that was very close to offensive pass interference. But Browning, he's a big target. And that's what the Thunderwolves love about him. And he's able to haul it in at the goal line. Big and thick. And able to use his physicality as a receiver. How many car accidents can you get in before you you don't get in car accidents anymore? Roll to the right, pass in the flat, is open, touchdown! Hamlin! Tyler Hamlin, the reserve tight end, wide open in the flat, and the Thunderwolves are on the board again. Might be his first career touchdown. I have to look, but that might be Ty Hamlin Sr. Might be his first career t- So it's first down and 10, Thunderwolves. The 36, 134 to play, still time here in this first half. I don't think they'll try anything too fancy. Well, what do I know? Five-step drop, pump and go. Oh, man, they got a man down the sideline. Wins is wide open, and he's got it in the clear. Ten, five, touchdown, Marcel Williamson. They're not going to try anything oh, too fancy. Nothing too fancy. How about a pump and go, Brooksy? Long count. Need the six for the first down. Dowson in the pocket. Now steps up. He can run with it. Gets a block. Pump fake. Inside the 10. Scoops to the goal. Touchdown! Ralph Dowson on in. What a nimble move along the sideline there to stay in bounds and showed his power. Puts a little burst there, Joe. Well, he's already thrown for three touchdowns. Throw the rushing touchdown on there. 10-04 to go in the third. This is the Ross Dowson. Breakout game of breakout games. So it'll be a 40-yard attempt now for Kyle Major. And the wind has shifted. He's almost kicking into the wind now here in this second half. Remember, in the first half, he'd have been with the wind on this kick. But he's kicking it right into the teeth. Kick is on the way. He's got plenty of leg. And it's good. 150 to play. In the third quarter, Thunderwolves extend the lead to 34 to 3. They spring that fullback in there. Boy, this second string, Joe, they are running the football with authority. Now, they're playing a lot of second stringers against Western State, but one thing they're proving is our second string's a little bit better than your second string as well. well they've got James Vickers in there. You've got Nick Sabe, who I... He's just an offensive lineman who was thrust in the starting role when he was a freshman because they lost all their tackles, and now he runs third team as a senior, but he stuck it out. And again, they give it to Ryder up the middle. Flag is down. He's into the end zone on second effort. Flag is down. Now, um, now either Western State lined up offside or the Thunder Rolls are in illegal formation here. Let's see what the call is. I think it's a touchdown. I think they were lined up offside. So he's going to be a yard short. So it'll be second down and a yard for the first down. Second down and three for the touchdown. Dowson up under center. They go straight eye. Now they send McMillan in motion. Pitch it to Lewis around the right side. He cuts it to the outside. To the pylon. Touchdown! So, Jesse Lewis, you know, Joe, all week, a couple of people talked to me. Oh, you know what? This just feels like a Jesse Lewis kind of game, the kind of game they need from him. Well, Jesse Lewis kind of bounced it in and instead of going out, and he looked like he had a lot of room if he would have went the other way. They go Lewis to the right side. He's like got a big that. opening, and he's down the sideline. You're not going to catch him. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Jesse Lewis, 87 yards. Now that is a senior day moment, Joe. From the 12-yard line, Dowson in the shotgun. 
Takes the snap, looks, pressure from the backside. He's got Johnson open, touchdown! Jamal Johnson coming out of the backfield. They sent the blitz, and Johnson just leaked out in the flat on the right side, and Dowson hit him in stride into the end zone for the touchdown. Johnson will come into the ballgame on this play. A lot of substitutions, as, uh, as you might expect. The fullback yeah, McNeil yeah, comes out. Sperber in, Sandoval, and they go wide to the left. Look for Roger Fanning Schmidt in the uh, pop pass. Browning in the slot to the right. Johnson, the lone setback here on third and goal from the four. And they run the fade pattern right side. Touchdown! And Browning has it. And, Joe, that wasn't really a uh, fade. It was more like just a back shoulder throw. As Browning just went to the goal line or just inside it stopped, the defender went right by him, and the ball was right on him. Turning out to be a trademark pass from Ross Dowson to Paul Browning. you got to understand. 28 to 7, Thunderwolves lead it. We're two minutes into the third quarter here. Sperber goes in motion, the left side of the formation, resets in the slot. Now they run a little play action. Now a throwback screen to the right side. Now they're going to go to the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown, Cooper. DeAndre Cooper was wide open. Ross Dowsey could have taken his pick there. Joe, I'm looking all over the field trying to figure out what they're going to run. Look like they're going to throw a little throwback screen. And instead, I think that's what Western New Mexico thought because all their defense came to this side, and it was wide open down the middle. Snap is good. Drives it. Got plenty of leg. And it's good. Kyle Major. Not your average 42-yard field goal, but he bangs that one through. 6.42 to play in the third quarter. Thunderwolves extend their lead at CSU Pueblo 38, Western New Mexico 7. Thunder- Another field goal attempt upcoming for Kyle Major. This one will be just inside the 30. We'll call it a 39-yard attempt. Ball on the left hash mark. Good snap. Plenty of leg. And again, it is good. 50. Pressure. Get the pass away. Intercepted by Roberts. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Thunderwolves. There's your pick six, Joe. Donnell Leomini thought he was going to get one today. He was waiting to see who it was, and it was C.J. Roberts. Well, of course... CJ caught a little grief earlier this year. It was way back the first game of the year when he made the pick against Midwest or against West Texas A&M, and he got caught from behind on what he hoped to be a touchdown run. Well, he makes no doubt about this when he gets it on into the end zone. Good for CJ. That people just don't make, and he's that kind of player. 27 yards on the play, first and 10. They hand it to Matthews, tries to bounce it outside. Now he's going to go Uh-oh. to the other side. He's got Dowson out in front of him. He's across the 10, to the 5, to the pylon. Touchdown, Thunderwolves! J.B. Matthews, what a move. He gets all bottled up to the left side. He reversed, went to the right side, and again it was Dowson leading the way. Unbelievable. Thunderwolves showing blitz up the middle here. Oh, man, it snap. It's inside the 10. Back inside the 5. It's loose. Thunderwolves should get a touchdown. They do. Warrior has the football. The Thunderwolves strike. On defense, another bad snap, and Corey Orth able to get that football as Vogler tried to pick it up instead of trying to get on top of it. And when he whiffed, the defense got there, and they get the touchdown. Unbelievable. You needed a break, Thunderwolves fans? That's your break right there. Matthews is the eye back. They're going to run play action. Here comes pressure up the middle. Dowson spins. He gets out to left. He's got a wide open field. Inside the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Boy, did that open up in a hurry for Ross Dowson on the scramble when he reversed. Joe, initially he looked to the right, but then he did a little pirouette, came to the left, and it was wide, wide open. I'm not sure he'd like the word pirouette, but I think he'll take a 17-yard touchdown run with 26 seconds to go in the third quarter. Hey, athletes always make the best dancing with the Stars contestants, Joe. That's true.